This is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Esther, her chicken and her Esther and her chicken, Esther the chicken, <laughs> her cake and her egg, and I am also going to be. Whoa! Hello, hello, Lee Bear. What? Are, hey, have you come to to cut the cake? That's kind of kind of scary turning around, seeing the the big sword in my face. I mean, I know you'd never hurt me, but it's still, you know, you want to be careful. Never run in corridors when holding a big sword. Anyway, I forgive you because you've bought me cake. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Ah, absolutely delicious. Set me up ready uh, for the uh, the day's building that we're, we're going to be doing. And I will tell you very soon uh, what it is that we're going to be building today. But first, I'm going to go and, of course, head over to my love garden uh, to announce who is the lucky person uh, that I'm adding to the, uh, the garden today. And that person is Megan. And I'm adding Megan because she sent me this picture of her homemade stampy uh, boat, uh, the SS Stumpy. And uh, you can see that it's so big she can actually sit in it. And she also made this tiny uh, little uh, SS Stumpy as well, which I think is uh, just as good. And she also sent me this uh, this picture uh, based on uh, Wonder Quest as well, which I thought uh, was really cool. So thank you so much uh, for all of my SS Stumpy models that you sent me, and also for the uh, the pictures, Megan. And welcome to my love garden. Right then, Lee Bear, I can see that you are eager and raring to go and ready for the race. Let's do a let's do a more intense one. Let's let's do a longer one. If you follow me, Lee Bear, uh, we go up to the uh, the top here uh, of uh, Harriet's Hill, and we've got a race uh, from the uh, the very top. And uh, this is a no shenanigans race, which means no ender poles, no pushing each other, no boats or, or anything else uh, that can be sneaky. A pure running race. First one into the doghouse uh, is going to pick which dog uh, we're able to to take with us uh, for the uh, the video. So right then, Lee Bear, we will begin the race. In three, two, one, go, 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 go. Right, I guess we should jump into the water to get down really fast. And oh, was able to just about uh, avoid all of the, the lily pads. And so was Lee. And I am just about uh, in the uh, the lead so far. Let me go and try and jump through the, the heart. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. I can't jump through the heart. Oh, no, that slowed me down. And I don't know which route uh, Lee Bear took. I'm going to go and try and run around this way. I can't see him uh, running through the farm. I don't know if he's gone behind me or gone some other way. This is scary now because I have no idea uh, who's going to win. Oh, I saw him. I saw him. I don't know who got him first. Though. Right, I'm in. I'm kind of in. I'm slightly in. And, ooh, you know what, Lee Bear? I think that might have been a draw. I think that one was too close to call. So how about uh, we pick a dog together? If you go uh, stand near one of the uh, the dog's uh, signs, I'll say whether I agree or not. And we can uh, if we can uh, decide together uh, which dog we should take. He's there uh, thinking very carefully. He's thinking maybe Flippy and, yeah. I can't argue with that. Let's go and take Flippy with us for this video. So the next quest uh, is to try and find where Flippy is. Are you Flippy? You are Flippy. Hello, Flippy. Uh, you can come and uh, join us. Uh, we have decided together uh, that we want you to be with us for this video. And in this video, uh, what we're going to be doing is building a brand new shop. And it's a... um. A rather exciting shop. We're going to be building a shop which is able to sell and make fireworks. It's basically going to be a workshop where you can go in and you build your own fireworks. And uh, yeah, then you can uh, take them away. So it's kind of like a firework workshop or a fire workshop <laughs> as I think I, I might end up calling it and this is where we're going to, to build it it's a little bit of a small area uh, but we're going to try and squeeze it in and uh, try and build the entire thing here and the uh, the idea of the other uh, design for this building is for it to be like a big explosion of color just like a, uh, a real firework so uh, let's waste uh, no more time talking about it and let's actually go and start building it so uh, the walls are going to be very colorful and white as well uh, just so that they're, they're really bright and we're going to actually build right next to the uh, the path here uh, just to make sure uh, we can fit it all in so as i said uh, the plan is for is for it to actually look uh, like a firework so what we're going to do is try to do these kind of like these little stars which are going to be like a little explosion of a firework so if i put this glowstone in the middle here and then if i go and um uh, build up some more yellow wall and kind of do the same as i did down there so if i place this here and i guess i can do some white up to 
here you can kind of see I don't know whether you can really tell yet until I stand from the front uh, but this is kind of uh, gonna look like a, a firework star so hopefully I've uh, done this uh, correct if I go and fill this in here there we go you can see it's kind of like a like a yellow star and they're not all gonna be yellow we're gonna go around uh, the outside here and uh, do stars of uh, all sorts of uh, different colors until we get to the the end then we're gonna go the entire way around and then the roof uh, is gonna be even more colorful but we're gonna talk a little bit more about that uh, once I, I get round uh, to it so I'm now gonna do I uh, do some lime green here and I'm gonna go and uh, fill in this middle bit here and hello Lee there you're playing peekaboo you know Lee you can actually help me build rather than just playing peekaboo and <laughs> we might get this finished come on you want the fire workshop to be done too so tell you what Lee if you go and um, if you start building around here and then we can try and make the the colors lead on so I did yellow there if you do uh, maybe red here and do a red star going this way and uh, hopefully by the uh, the back uh, we can uh, meet up and um, yeah this place should look uh, pretty uh, pretty cool hopefully so this is how the the lime green is gonna be and this is also uh, where the uh, the door's going to end up being but for now I'm just going to fill it full of wool so uh, if I do lime green there and then up here as well so it links onto the the yellow and then if I go and fill all of the uh, the middle in uh, with white here and then I need to kind of do the the same up on this side so uh, I need uh, how many more blocks of white I think I need to do white there there and then I do lime green there is that right and I think I missed out one more which I can go and uh, put in there there we go there's the uh, the next star along I'm actually doing these uh, pretty quickly so I'm now going to move on and I'm going to do dark green wall uh, on this side here uh, just so it kind of matches on and I think if I build it more side on like this I think it might be a little bit easier because it's kind of confusing to, to build it uh, when you're kind of jumping all over it so if I go and put the the glowstone in there I can then put white wall there and there and there and then oh no not there I need to place it there and then I can go and break this away then I do gr the dark green again at the top there and here and if I do the uh, the same on this side, this should be uh, the entire uh, front wall uh, completely finished. So I need to do, I think, dark wall here and then one more at the, the very top. And uh, then you should get uh, a pretty good uh, idea uh, of what the uh, the building is going to look like. There we go. You can see it's very bright and very colourful. So I'm going to break away uh, these blocks here because this is where the, the door is going to be to the shop. At the moment, it's a bit of a, a door to, to nowhere at the uh, the moment. But trust me, <laughs> once it's all uh, finished up, it's going to look good. And let's see uh, how well uh, Lee Bear is doing down here. It looks good, actually. I like the way all the, the colours blend into each other. So I'm going to go around this side now and I'm going to do the, the next colour. So I'm going to go for green and I'm then going to go to to Cyan wall I think now and so I'm just basically going to start building uh, the exact same uh, along this side here and I suppose uh, while I'm doing this I might talk a little bit about what the uh, the plan is uh, for the uh, the place uh, in uh, in general so uh, what I want to happen is for it to all be kind of automated so you would come in then there's going to be a big row of buttons and you basically press buttons depending on what colors you want so say if you want to make a big uh, star blue one you could come in and then you press a, a button uh, to get the uh, the blue die and then you could press another button to get a, a gold nugget I think it is that you need uh, to make it uh, turn into a, a star and then you can press another butter button for some gunpowder and paper and things all of the other uh, stuff that you need uh, to make uh, the uh, the fireworks and then everything just gets all collected together and uh, put in just one place for you and then you can just gather it up uh, go to a crafting table make the other uh, firework and then there's also going to be a fireworks testing area so once you've uh, kind of come up with your design for what uh, style of firework you want uh, there's going to be a special like tube you can go to <laughs> and you can kind of launch the firework up the uh, the tube and uh, kind of get a, a little idea of what the other uh, fireworks going to look like and there's also uh, going to be another tube which is kind of like a, a chimney uh, and there's going to be a bit of glass on the ceiling uh, so you can kind of just blast the firework off through the ceiling and uh, just see it blow up in the uh, the sky and if you like the the design then that can be the uh, the firework you decide uh, to go for so it is definitely uh, going to be much more of a, a workshop rather than just a normal shop where you go in and just buy them uh, off the uh, the shelf and look look how good progress we're doing here we have almost uh, built the uh, the entire thing so we got pink and magenta there I think yeah there we go I got some purple on me here as if I go and uh, put this purple down here hopefully uh, this should all link up perfectly and uh, we should have all of the uh, the walls done and uh, then we can jump upstairs and I can explain kind of what we want to do uh, for the other uh, roof which is going to be as I said even more colorful and rainbow and explosion of colory <laughs> than the uh, than the bottom was so I'm going to put my glowstone in here uh, for the the middle of the star I need purple there and there and then I need to go and do uh, I think purple here and then white there purple here and purple there and if I fill the uh, the rest in uh, with this uh, white wall and then this should hopefully be the uh, the entire
entire uh, outside walls are uh, 100% uh, complete. And the, the good thing about doing the other uh, walls in this design is that if we now go and walk on the inside, you can see that the inside is just as uh, colourful and uh, lit up uh, as, the, as the outside was, because these are actually uh, going to be the, the walls uh, we are going to be using on the, uh, on the inside. So uh, now let's go and uh, hop upstairs, and I can go and start trying to, to do a little bit of work uh, on, the, uh, on the roof. So I'm just going to make a, a little temporary uh, staircase here uh, with some of these dirt blocks going down uh, like this and then like that here. And so I can now go and jump up to the uh, the top floor. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit empty at the uh, the moment now. Uh, but the first thing I kind of want to do uh, is to try and do the uh, the middle because we're actually going to have a bit of a, a bulge, kind of like a, as I said, the explosion of color. So in the very center, there's going to be a. Um, Kind of like a, a bit of a dome, I guess. Slightly similar to uh, the one I have on my theatre. I guess, obviously, a lot smaller because it's a, a much smaller building. Uh, but it's not going to be made out of dirt. I'm just going to build it out of dirt at first. Uh, just so I can kind of get a, a bit of a, an idea of what it's going to, to be like. And then we're going to be building it over with the, the colours. Because the entire roof is going to be like rainbow coloured. Uh, with all of these colours. Uh, but not in straight lines. Uh, going diagonally uh, across the entire place. There's going to be like a diagonal row of like red there then blue then green then all of the uh, the other colors in rows uh, so just basically if you saw it from above it would just look like a huge colorful mess <laughs> which is uh, exactly uh, the kind of idea i want and we're also going to have spires we're going to have big spires going up into the the sky and on the top we're going to have these kind of big like spheres but not completely filled in kind of like little particles and they're basically supposed to look like uh, big fireworks being set off and we're going to put glowstone in the middle so they're all lit up so uh, this is uh, probably going to really stand out uh, this building uh, in this area here but for now i'm just going to go and try and work uh, on building my my little dome so let's go and try and work this out shall we so i think these are about the um the middle two blocks i'm just going to put some torches down so i can uh, see properly what i'm doing and uh, while i'm doing this it uh, looks like Lee Bears uh, started filling in some of the, the floor on the inside. It looks like he's uh, using Never Quartz as well, which uh, I think looks uh, pretty smart. So I think this is about the middle here. So if I kind of just uh, build this out on all sides and uh, try and make it look roughly equal, uh, we're going to use this as kind of like a, a bit of a marker for now. And then once we get to, to building the, the colors, uh, we're going to go and uh, build over all of this and uh, basically make it look uh, even better than it does now. So if I kind of build out to here and here, is this equal? I'm not sure if it is actually. No, it goes much closer on that side so let's build out to here and kind of build out these bits like this uh, so there's two blocks to the end on that side and then three blocks to the end on this side so we can kind of do it to here and then we can kind of build out in this direction a little bit as well and uh, if we do the same in this direction this should hopefully uh, look pretty cool and then uh, in the middle uh, we can go and build up uh, a little bit higher so if we kind of do a little bit of a, a square like this I can go like this and then this here and then do two blocks even higher in the uh, the very middle like this. So there we go. Here's a, a little bit of a, a dome. I might end up changing it a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, let's go and start trying to, to add in uh, all of the uh, the colors and uh, make this place uh, look a whole load more bright and colorful. So I don't have all of the, the colors on me now. Uh, but Lieber, if you come up here a sec, I think lieber has got the, the other colors. Uh, you can use my little uh, lovely dirt staircase I built. <laughs> and I think the easiest thing to do is to do one big row of all the colors uh, along here and then we can just kind of do uh, diagonally across the entire way and then hopefully that way uh, it won't get too confusing because otherwise it might become a, a little bit of a, a mess of color so let's start with a uh, lime green here shall we and then i'll go to, to cyan so i'm basically going to do it in the uh, the same pattern uh, that we did around here so after cyan it then goes to uh, to purple here I think that's right. And then I need magenta. Uh, but I don't actually have any uh, magenta on me now. So for now, I'm just going to go and start uh, carrying on building diagonally along here. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. Oh, I actually made a little bit of a mess there. But yeah, basically, we're just going to do big diagonal rows uh, of all of the, the colors uh, going along here. And kind of because I worked out this dome, it's going to be really easy now just to kind of carry on going diagonally. So all I need to do is destroy the, uh, the block that was there before and then just place this block down. Uh, because if I was trying to build it of all of these different colors originally it would have probably ended up getting really confusing so the idea is that when someone looks at it it's going to look really 
confusing, uh, but it was actually uh, not too difficult uh, to to build in the in the first place. And oh, I think did I did I do my my colours in the the wrong place? Um, I'm not entirely sure. If we just kind of do one big row uh, along uh, here, Lee Bear, for the the colours, uh, that I can sort of carry on uh, going diagonally uh, across from from there. So I'm going to go and do uh, do yellow wool here, uh, which goes next to the um, the lime green, just like it did here. And I'm just going to do the uh, the same as I did for the the lime green. I'm just going to keep building along here and uh, breaking away the uh, the blocks and I'm just going to go and all I need to do is make sure that I'm doing the the block uh, next to the uh, the si uh, the uh, the lime green and the the pattern should hopefully uh, work out properly and then uh, hopefully by the end of the video once it's the uh, the morning uh, we're going to get to see what this building looks like all bright and colorful uh, inside of the uh, inside of the the sunlight actually that yellow one goes there I think there we go now this goes all the way uh, to the uh, the way along the end that way and uh, we can carry on building on uh, now so I'm going to do a uh, dark green here and I'm going to go keep building it along to here and uh, once again just destroying the uh, the dome and then once we have uh, filled in the entire dome on the uh, the top here I can go downstairs on the uh, on the inside and uh, start destroying all of the the dirt and the uh, the white wall uh, that doesn't really need to be there because once again uh, like the walls on the outside uh, this dome should look good uh, from the outside uh, but it should look even better uh, on the on the inside when you go into the shop and then you look up uh, it should look uh, really cool and uh, bright and colorful there so uh, I missed the uh, the cyan wall here uh, so I need to go and uh, fill in these uh, ones along here like that and then I might actually need uh, some more uh, wool from you Lee Bear because I think I'm um, uh, I think I'm starting to, to run out actually tell you what if you carry on uh, filling in the uh, the rest of the roof I might go and uh, try and try and uh, start building uh, one of the the big spires and so these are basically going to be there's going to be four of them on each side and they're supposed to be kind of uh, like a uh, like a big blowing up firework so let's see if I can go and build one of these so I'm going to do it in line uh, with that glowstone there I'm going to go up one two three four five and uh, this one I'm going to do the uh, the same color as, as is underneath me uh, which is a uh, dark green and I'm just going to do a little cross like this and uh, basically as I said it's going to be a bit like a like a circle like a big sphere uh, but it's going to be broken away a little bit uh, so then that way it looks a bit uh, a little bit like there's been uh, an explosion of color uh, up high so uh, if I go and um try and uh, build this up and uh, work out how this is uh, going to uh, going to be so if I try and place this dirt here it's just a, a bit of a marker and then go and grab my dark green wall again I think I need to have some there and some there and I think the easiest way to, to do this is I'll just use white wool for now is I'm just going to build around as if I was going to fill it entirely in and then I'm just going to break away uh, all of the the white wool afterwards because you can see that I'm leaving lots of gaps uh, which sometimes makes it difficult to, to build things but uh, in the end I can just go and get rid of all of the the white wool and uh, we should be uh, left with the uh, the shape uh, that we want uh, on the uh, in the end so if I do uh, dark green there and then white again and then dark green there and then there's going to be a bit of glowstone in the uh, the very middle uh, of this area here. So I'm then going to go and do dark green on top of all of here. So I guess it's kind of a, a little bit like a like a checkered pattern, uh, but then with uh, some of the uh, the colours all just completely missing. So uh, once again, I'm just going to use white wool for now. And then I know that if I just go and destroy all of the the white wool afterwards, uh, we should hopefully uh, end up with the uh, the final uh, shape that we want. And then all of these uh, towers, uh, they're all going to end up being different heights. So this is actually going to be the, the lowest one. And then they're all going to get even higher and higher and higher and higher until some of them are really high in the uh, in the sky. And so then whenever you look over this area in my lovely world, uh, the, uh, the firework workshop <laughs> should uh, really uh, uh, stand out. So let me go and add the, uh, the glowstone in now then. I'm going to place uh, the glowstone on this block here. And then this should uh, light up the uh, area even brighter. And then I'm also just going to go and add a, a cross, uh, just like I did on the, the underneath, uh, just to, to mark the, uh, the very top. So this is kind of it finished now. Uh, all I need to do is uh, go and destroy all of the uh, all of the white wall, and it should be 100% uh, finished. So then I can go downstairs and uh, have a look at it uh, from underneath and uh, see whether it actually looks any good or not. <laughs> it's always funny when you're building something big or high up and you're really close to it. And so you can end up finishing building it, but you don't really know what it looks like until you walk a little bit further away and uh, and look back at it. So hopefully uh, this should look pretty cool. So I just got the uh, the difficult task now of trying to destroy uh, all of the uh, the blocks 
that I don't actually want here. Basically, uh, all of this, uh, all of this uh, white wall, I can go and uh, break away. Then I can gather up uh, again from from downstairs. So I can break away here and here. I'm kind of tempted to try and jump into the the middle. Shall I do it? Do you reckon I could land there? I reckon I could do that. Oop, just about. <laughs> I was just about uh, able to, to land uh, on the inside. And perfect timing as well, actually, because uh, it's just about uh, to become day. So I think I have now uh, destroyed uh, all of the, the white wall. Let me just make one last check. Oh, no, there's another one left down there. And uh, there's a bit of white wall I can go and pick up here as well. And I might actually have a, a good view here of uh, seeing the uh, the roof. You can't really see, but you get a, a little bit of a, an idea of what it's going to look like. And so now I'm going to go and uh, jump down to, to here. And I'm going to go and have a look at what the entire place looks like uh, from over in this direction. First, I'm going to go and take uh, out these uh, these creepers because I don't want to get uh, blown up when I'm admiring what I'm building. There we go. Actually able to, to hit it there. And uh, there you go. Uh, you can kind of see what the uh, the spire looks like. I think it looks cool. I think that does look really cool. So there's going to be that one there, then one here, even taller, and then one even taller, and then one really high uh, in the uh, the sky there, as if all of these fireworks have been launched up and uh, then all been exploding at the uh, the same time. And whoa, look at what it looks like on the the inside here. It's starting to look uh, pretty awesome. Let me just go and uh, climb uh, up to the uh, the top here. And uh, admire uh, what the uh, the roof looks like uh, so far. Do you see what I mean? It really does look like a huge explosion of colour. But I love it though. I think this does look uh, really awesome. So in the the next episode, uh, we're going to be going on the the inside and uh, building everything that I was telling you about uh, to make this uh, big colourful room uh, into a, a fireworks workshop, uh, which should be uh, jolly good fun. Uh, so I'll be leaving a, a link in the description to that episode, uh, which should be online very soon. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you. Oh, a later. Bye.